day and thank you for watching the ACS Library. My name is Kyle and I aim to help you prepare for the private pilot checkride for free in under five minutes a day. After a long break, we will pick up where we left off with the last of the weather products we will discuss in these videos, low-level significant weather prognostic charts. Serving as a pre-flight planning tool, low-level significant weather prognostic charts depict in-flight hazards to include weather flying categories, turbulence, and freezing levels for altitudes at and below flight level 240, or 24,000 feet MSL. The FAA states that more accurate and timely products should be used for actual pre-flight planning purposes, such as METARs and TAFs. Low-level significant weather prognostic charts come in two variables, a 12 or 24-hour forecast. Using Table 5-22 from Advisory Circular 0045 Hotel, Aviation Weather Services, we see that both forecasts are issued by the National Weather Service four times daily at seemingly randomly selected times of 1720 Zulu, 2310 Zulu, 0530 Zulu, and 0935 Zulu. Below that, we see the times at which each report becomes valid. Low-level significant weather prognostic charts may be viewed at www.aviationweather.gov under the Forecast tab by clicking Prog Charts. Once on the next page, scroll down until you see a map labeled Low Level Surface to 240. Click this map, and our most current prog chart will be made available to us. The 12-hour forecast is depicted to the left and the 24-hour to the right. Previously released prog charts may be viewed under the Time drop-down menu. As mentioned earlier, prog charts depict weather flying category as either IFR, marginal VFR, or VFR. IFR conditions, either ceilings below 1,000 feet AGL and or visibility below 3 statue miles, are depicted outlined in red. Areas of marginal VFR conditions, or conditions better than IFR but not quite classifying as VFR, are outlined in a scalloped blue line that looks like a child's drawing of a cloud. It looks like May Gray is in full effect along the west coast. Areas of VFR conditions, or both ceilings above 3,000 feet and visibility above 5 statue miles, are found on the outside of the red and blue outlines. Moving on to turbulence, areas of moderate or greater turbulence may be found enclosed in orange dashed lines. Turbulence intensity and altitude may be located within or next to the area it affects. The intensity may be depicted as moderate by a single chevron, severe by double chevrons, or extreme by triple chevrons. The top and base of the turbulence may be seen depicted in hundreds of feet above mean sea level and separated by a forward slash with tops to the left and bases to the right. In this example, we have moderate turbulence affecting an area from 3,000 feet MSL to 8,000 feet MSL. Turbulence affecting an area from the surface to an altitude will be depicted absent the base height, such as the moderate turbulence from the surface to flight level 180 depicted in our example here. Freezing levels at the surface are depicted by turquoise saw teeth, while freezing levels at altitude are depicted by a straight dashed turquoise line labeled in hundreds of feet above mean sea level, beginning at 4,000 feet, and depicted every 4,000 feet after that. Notice also that if there are thunderstorms in an area, one may assume turbulence, icing, and low-level wind shear are present. To determine the freezing level of an area in between two lines, one would have to interpolate. For instance, in this area, between the depictions of freezing levels at 8,000 and 12,000 feet MSL, one may assume that the freezing level is found at 10,000 feet MSL. This concludes our video over low-level significant weather prognostic charts. This is a great tool for flight planning, as it offers color-coded weather depictions, easy to interpret at a glance. But remember that the information may not be as timely or accurate as desired. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'd appreciate if anyone who may have enjoyed this video might like it. If you're new to my videos, subscribe for notifications about future videos, or share with somebody who might find this video helpful. Any feedback helps me out tremendously. Comments and messages are always greatly appreciated. Thanks again and safe flying.